The 6-3 props finally came from my homemade quadcopter. Well, I'm going to show you how they fly. And you can see the difference between my 10-6 cut down props by watching the video that I made previously on this machine. Here we go. Well, hi everybody. You know, I've been uh, just flying this, uh, my homemade quadcopter. I still think my props, these are 10-6s that I shortened to work. Uh, they're a lot quieter than the uh, stock 6.3 props. And the thing is, I notice, and as I'm still learning how, it seems that the throttle is like, goes up and then all of a sudden comes on and uh, quickly. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my model type here on my transmitter to, uh, to a heli. And then I'm gonna change the swash plate type to one servo 90 degrees, which it's already at. That means now I have a throttle curve, which I'm gonna to adjust to be softer in the middle. We'll take the normal and position three, I'm gonna turn that down 45%. Position four, I'm gonna turn that down to 60%. Position five is wide open. I don't want that, so we're gonna take that down to about 80%. Now let's try that. You know, this one speed controller was flaky since new, so I replaced it with another one with a little larger amperage. If a motor quits, this is what it looks like, by the way. like that. It looks like the front motor quits after it overheats so I've replaced this. Let's see if it works now. Well like I said I never had the recommended props so after two months they finally came. Here's what's going on. You know the stock props that came with the clockwise spinning props uh, really uh, were out of balance. All of them are. I had to grind off quite a bit over here uh, to get these to balance. The props that spin counterclockwise were balanced perfectly. Oh, that's much smoother there on the throttle. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> oh, you're not going to believe what I'm going to do to this little quadcopter next. So stay tuned. And thanks for watching, everybody.